Hi guys, it's Amy here and today we're going to be looking at enabling Microsoft Teams in a Blackboard course. So what this means is creating a team with all your students and all the instructors by using the Blackboard Ultra courses. And we can do this by being in any course. So I'm going to use my sandbox today to try this out, but you can use your actual um, units or your group courses or even program level to do this. So down in the left hand side, just down at the bottom, I have Microsoft Teams and enable Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to click on this here and it will tell me it's going to get me started. So it's going to tell me that my class roster, um, this is all the students enrolled, will sync across uh, as well as being able to then use Teams to upload documents and have that vital class notebook that we like using. So I'm now going to hit the sync with Microsoft Teams. Now this will actually take some time. It doesn't tell you at this stage, but it can take up to 15 minutes. And just down in the left hand side, we'll see here that says setting up teams. So at this point you can head off, nip away and do something different uh, and, and wait for the team to be set up. Okay, so what I did is I waited around about 10 minutes or so and I actually refreshed my course and came back into it. And what I can see now in the bottom here, I have open Microsoft Teams. But the first thing I will actually see is it's not quite ready yet. And it will say your team's ready to go, but some members were not included. Their profile email is either duplicated, missing or invalid. And it will ask you to contact your system administrator. You will not need to do this. What this actually is meaning is that if there are any admin accounts, for example, um, some of the team members in the learning technologies have admin accounts. So if their accounts are enrolled on your course, these won't be pulled in, that's fine. And the other account it's referencing is actually your preview user. So if you've ever used the student preview mode, it's not gonna pull that in. So you're not gonna be on a team twice. So don't worry about this. Um, it's, it's not an issue, so you won't need to contact us. It's just those two accounts that are not being pulled through. So I'm going to hit OK because I'm really happy with that. And what I can now do is down in the bottom left, I can actually click Open Microsoft Teams. So the first time you come into it, it can take a while to load. But here I can see the Microsoft Teams here. And if I click on this, it should allow me to open this in the web browser or even uh, in my desktop app. So it's, it's given me the option to use either web or desktop. I'm going to click on the um, desktop app here. So I'll open up Microsoft Teams and it should just take me straight into that team. Okay, so here we are. I'm now in the team itself. So from here, I can now actually get things set up like the class notebook, or I can upload my class materials, even create assignments. And at the moment, my students are waiting to join. I can see this at the top. And what I would have to do to get those into the, the area is just hit activate. And it just means that I can actually set up the notebook. I can set up class materials. I can set up any assignments Then I can activate the students um, and they will be able to come in and see all of this. So it's great because I can do all the class notebook stuff before the students see any of it. Uh, once I hit activate, they will actually be able to see everything. So the class notebook assignments, class materials, they'll have access to all of those. So that's the extra step that we don't normally have when we're creating our teams is just this activate step here. Um, but it does make it nice and obvious for you just at the top. Once you've activated them, that's it ready to go to use with your students.